live chat on. Okay, just gonna wait for my tablet to connect because I use my tablet to see live chat. Yes, 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 okay. All right, it's working. Hi, Manai. Oh, sure, sure, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just setting everything up, but now I'm gonna speak at normal volume. <coughs> Ooh, three viewers, nice. What's it? All right. Oh boy, I'm sure excited for this stream. I've got three viewers already. Who's the third guy? I know I've got two screens on, but like the third guy. That's pretty cool. Three viewers. Nice. I really got a laugh. It's fine. Alright. Today, we will be making a database for my for my Chinese knockoff of Facebook. Now, so the idea I have in mind is I'm going to make a MySQL database and then I'm going to connect it to my website using JavaScript. I don't know, shouldn't you do it with Python though? You have no idea how to go about this. I've never done this before. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. How to... Let me just check if this is possible. If something works the way I think it does, if it does, then I will go along with the plan I had for this project. So, let's see. How to get my SQL data. Uh, how to make a variable with my SQL data. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I want to see if you can get some data from my SQL. And then you, and then you can use that data and to display. You can display that data in an app. Oh, hey, we do legit have a third guy. Who's the Who's the third guy? Third man, reveal yourself. I want to know your identity. You one of these guys? I mean, if you are, you're pre you're a pretty chill guy. Cause I like my regular active viewers. Commander Root. If you're Commander Root, I'd like to ask you why you have 100k subscribers and still watch me. I mean, you're pretty big. I expect that you consider a channel of my stature to be of insufficient size for your attention. Well, I don't know. You like my channel, you watch my channel. Okay, how do I go about this? How do you take an element from MySQL and display it? How to display MySQL data? HTML, yeah, 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 that's a great idea. That's a great session. Why does everybody, why is there tutorials everywhere for how to use PHP to do this? But no tutorials on how to use Node.js or Python. I want to use Python, folks. Python is the classic language here. Just gonna move that to a separate window so that it's always on. And so I always get that third view and I don't need to keep trying keeping the window on. Hmm. Okay, now let let's take a look. Wait, wait, here, here, here. Yeah. Ah, nice. I want to retrieve the values from the database table and show them in the HTML table in a page. Yes, exactly my predicament. I always search for this but couldn't find the answer. TD. What's TD and PH? Oh, PHP select data from MySQL. Hmm? MySQL LI connect. PHP select data from MySQL. Wait, so you just make the PHP file copy and paste this in. That's it? Calculate dynamic. Hmm. All of the tutorials here are about PHP. Seriously, is there no way? Wait, this doesn't seem to be PHP. Okay, it is PHP. Man, PHP looks so messy. Do I use PHP? Look, let's see if there's any way, any tutorials for anything other than PHP, alright? So, I'm just going to... 
to say search for what Man, you know one of the hardest parts in coding as a beginner is just to come up with good search terms mm. maybe if I speak professionally into my microphone it would do a trick You know what, let's, let's see this. How to connect to MySQL database with Python. Okay, double three schools had a tutorial, and then, okay, let's see if they, you can get any variables out of this. Oh, right, you gotta import a bunch of stuff. That sucks. Uh, JS MySQL. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, oh, okay. Alright, I know why it went wrong now. I tried this before, actually. But I didn't know why it went wrong. Now I know why it went wrong. I gotta do some stuff first. Let's just do the setup. Okay, node npm install MySQL. Okay, now that we got that, then we do this. Nice. Alright, MySQL does create a connection. Alright, we've, we've got it. That's all I need to do. Now let's run this and see if it works. Node index or yes. Nope. It doesn't work. Error connect e host unreach? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, have, I don't have the database turned on. Maybe that's why. That's local instance 3306. Oh, these are the specifics for another database. Let's see. Wait, what database do I have in here now? Oh, no, I do have the test database. Wait, but then, so then this should work. Wait, I just turn, I just turn on MySQL work run, so maybe it will work now. No, it looks like it. Nope. Hmm. Alright, we're in a difficult situation. What do I do? We you know I've heard of people using Firebase, and I remember I did come upon a tutorial, to, uh, a pretty short tutorial on how to connect to Firebase, how to make an app of a Firebase database, so that would probably be easier than trying to make a MySQL database. Bye, Mom. But then... But that, but I know that all the big companies use MySQL. So... If I was learning how to use Firebase, I would probably learning how to use a not very widely used skill. Uh, you know what, well, let's just... How do they connect their database to MySQL? I know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. When f they made Facebook, they did use PHP. Okay, you know what? Wait, where's that window with the tutorial? Oh, here. Close this. Mm, here. Yeah. All right. Uh, where's the tutorial PHP? Okay, here. All right, let's make a new folder. Why is that these things? Oh, okay. When you uh, run npm install something, they just add all these files. But that's fine because I'm going to delete them all. Because I want to test this. We're going to make an index.html file and something .php. Uh, what to name PHP file? I have no idea. I've never used PHP before. My for example. What you call what to call PHP file for index.html?
Oh, okay. Index of PHP. That's it. You just call it index of PHP. Okay, doke. Now let's copy and paste this code into the index.html. Wait, what's this? Uh. Wait, where did the argument for border come from? Is there some sort of setup I'm supposed to do before this? I don't know, I'm gonna read the question more in more detail later, but for now, let's see if this works. <gasps> it does! Okay. Wait. Now, I have... I do not see this data being defined in here. But then that must mean that this code is connecting to a real database somewhere. And this is in the database. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Well, all right, you know what? If PHP works, I'll use PHP. And we're going to make a connection to our own database and install some database somewhere. From a string, so mysql i dot connect dash connect example dot com peter a b c d. Wait, wait, wait. Example dot com. Wait, what's this supposed to be? It's connecting to some sort of website. Wait, what does website have to do with this? I thought this was connecting to a mysql. I thought it was connecting to a mysql database. So what does example.com do? Okay, you know what? Let's go here, MySQL, I just connect, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Use the other window. PHP, MySQL, I dash connect. What does that mean? Oh, okay, you're supposed to put in this. Okay, you know what? Let's close this. And let me explain to you what I think it's supposed to do. So you're supposed to put this in, right? The address, localhost, something, or some sort of web address. I don't know how you use web address to signify some local host thing, but yeah, apparently that's a user, and then you put the user, and then the password, and then your database. So let's do that. Uh, actually, you know what, wait. I want to start a new, I want to make a fresh connection. Road chat database because I am making a database for my little project with my friends road chat. Oh dang it! I forgot to change the username to root. Go back, go back, go back. Do I have the Okay, you can go back. That's where you know the design of MySQL workbench. You just can't go back to this window once you've entered a connection, which I find very weird. So Yang Yi. Yeah, there we go. Password, store and keychain. I'm not gonna let you guys see my password. And close, alright. No, 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 no. I just store and keychain. Isn't that supposed to save your password? Wait, what? Hey, wait a minute. Hashtag P R T go. Okay. Yes, and that is the password. How come this isn't working? What on earth is wrong with this? I have used this password many times before. I know that this works. Ah, dang it. Something's wrong. Okay, so I got the password right, but an access denied for this user. That sucks. Why? Okay, here I am trying to connect to. Check that MySQL run is running on the address. Yes, it is. 
reachable in port 3306. Wait. You know what? Let's just delete this and follow a tutorial on how you're supposed to make a new MySQL connection. How to make MySQL data connection. Plus icons, sub correction. Okay, that's it. Then that's what I've been doing. Click the plus icon. Connection name, road chat, database, host name, port, all fits, root, okay. Works. Ah, I mean, awesome. Oh, right, okay, I forgot if the port is the same, uh, it doesn't delete the databases off site. I just put myself through all that trouble for nothing. Never mind, never mind. Let's check this column. Let's actually go here. Look at the data. Wait, how can you look at the data? Hmm. Wait, you can't see the data for the... You can't see the data that's stored in the database when you look in the MySQL database? That kind of sucks. Oh, wait, 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 you can go to this? No. That doesn't work. Hmm, that's pretty disappointing. Well, let's see. Hmm. Oh, wait, gotta close this down first. I don't like to have apps open that I don't use at the moment. So do we just connect it to the database or? Nah, actually, no. I'm gonna make a new database. Wait. Sys, what's this sys config? Oh, okay, it's just a built in thing. I'm gonna create schema, I want to call it T test database. Also, okay, you know what? Let's just delete this thing. Drop schema, yes, I want to drop the schema, and then we'll call this test database and apply. Create schema test database, yes, close test database is created and on tables create table a name equals user user info right wait I remember there was something you could do to put in default values uh, yeah Name equals user info. User info column? User info column one. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. Clear, delete, selected. Yes, I want to delete them all. Okay, you know what? I want a name, so name. Username. Right there, type equals. No, I do not want it to be the primary key. Wait, I want to change the data type. How do I do that? Okay. Var char, yes. Let me just, let's just set it to the maximum. And email. Var char. Yeah, yes. Var char 45, you know what? Just set it to the maximum too. And then uh, what now? But what's the data types I want to put in again? Right, and then the uh, member since this will be your date time. And then the final one, interests. Because it's for a sort of social media app, you know, so you list your interests and then other people see if they have the same interests as you and then they co contact you and you guys become best friends forever. Yeah, Varkar255 also. Okay. Nice. And not null. Not username, email, not null. Interests can be null. Default expression, I don't know actually enough to stuff here actually oh wait wait I remember something I also want to put some data into there first so I can check right and try to display in visual studio code oh yeah by the way no none of my friends have sent messages hmm, that's weird why are they online very curious anyway that's not important right now we need to get the database done there was this tutorial I thought to oh, wait how to insert Insert data into 
MySQL database. There we go. Smooth programming. Insert into command, right? Oh yeah, I remember now. You do insert into and then uh, test database. Yeah, that's test database. Wait, how do you specify? How do you specify the table you want to insert data data in? Mm, insert into table name, okay. Now the table name is user info. So there. Let's say tab again here. In Safari and then values. Okay. Oh the fields? Alright. So you gotta add the field. Username, email, number since interest. A value username let's put my own name there Yangi email you guys are not getting my email today fake email at gmail.com and then date time oh yes the number since uh, what's today's date September 20 2022 and then of interests, web development, drawing, what else? Oh man, I don't have much hobbies, do I? Just to put piano in there because I'm Asian. Alright, then we can close the parentheses. Okay, hopefully that will work. Is that supposed to work? I think I just supposed to put a, this thing at the end. Apply. Hey, shoot. No database selected. I swear, I put. Oh, come on. I wrote all of that. Go Selecting a conflicts of exist existing table user info. Wait a minute. Did we create the database yet? Okay. How many tables are there? Let's see. They say there's already user info. Yes, I want to save the changes. Yes, apply changes. Yes, I do want to save the changes. Oh, god dang it. Okay, then forget it. Don't save. And there should be not no. All right, apply. Apply. Yes, apply. Okay. Also, there's a rare user info table here. But I see no tables here. Oh, god dang it. Don't tell me. I gotta make the whole thing again. User info, god. I swear this thing is. Oh, god. Damn it, username. Varkar, yes, 255. I do not want that to be primary key. Username. An email. No, I want that to be Varka two five five just like in here. And then I want it to be member member since. How much time has I wasted on this member since? Interests. Here we save and we apply. There's no existing table. You are user info. What? Sample MySQL database. Let's just download one of these stupid things. Some piece of mess. Anything I could just put in here? I do not know. Wait, 
so. Okay, you know what? Apply. Yes, apply. Create that. All right, nice. And we've got user table, finally. Okay, that was an intelligent thing to do. All right, and columns. And I can't see the data inside. What a god dang. All right, now let's connect to the new database. We're going to put the updated information here. Let's do local host. Uh, you're supposed to do this, right? 3306. Let's check. Oh, local host. That's it? Just local host? Okay, fine. And then I make the name of the database. What name? What username do I give the database? Root. APC? What? Oh, this is the password? Is that the password? Yeah. My database, uh, it was test data. Yeah, test database. All right, so this should work. Let's see. It's still the same information. What's going on? I have the, the, the database info. Result equals MySQL query. Select everything from persons. Now I want you to select the table from the table user. Why is it still displaying the same information? Okay, this seems to be getting nowhere. You know what? Uh, for the first time in a couple of days, I have to say that Michael is not getting anywhere. I feel like it's better if I end the stream now. Nobody's watching, and my commentary is not that good anyway. I don't know. Why is my commentary so scuffed reasonably? It sucks, I swear. Boring as hell. I don't know, can I do something to my... Something to my stream? Oh boy, I am bored and demotivated. All right, you know what, I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm gonna do some stupid crap on my own. Wait, why did I lose one view? All right, gotta go back here. Dude, it's down to one view. I swear I have two screens open. Why is it down to one view? Doesn't matter because I'm going to start the stream. All right, folks. Sorry to uh, disappoint you, whoever's watching this, but... Yeah, there's nothing much to say, is it? Jeez. All right, I'm just going to stop streaming and go watch Jay Slat. Yeah, go watch Jay Slat, guys. He's a better streamer than me. All right. Bye, folks.